Hey everyone, it's Mateen from AffEngineer.com once again. Welcome to the thirteenth video, or the twelfth video, I think it is, of this series. Um, this video is really important. If you don't, if you're gonna watch one video out of everything of this whole set, watch this one video. I might highlight it in the on the page, but this is the secret sauce to Facebook advertising. Last the video I did just before this went through bad targeting. What you shouldn't do when you're selecting interests in Facebook. Um, this applies not only to Teespring campaigns, but pretty much anything you're doing Facebook related. Um, I'm not going to go through it again. I'm going to assume you watched the video before. If you haven't, go watch it and then come to this video. But this one's this video is going to cover good targeting. So what you should be doing. So again, I'll be using the same example. So if we're targeting German shepherds. German Shepherd Lovers. What did we do last time? We went German Shepherd. We got 1.5 million to 2 million monthly active people. That's a lot. Very untargeted way of targeting. We don't want to do that. What we want to do is we want to target let's we want to target websites, so German Shepherd websites. We want to target German Shepherd forums. Uh, magazines, associations, clubs, uh, rescue groups, rescue groups, newsletters, uh, events, all these kind of things that people that actually have German Shepherds would be a part of. So once you're targeting things like these, then that's when you're your demographic will be highly targeted where people that are actually seeing your ad are people that don't just like German Shepherds but a large majority of them are people that actually have German Shepherds right so to do that uh, all you do is just go to Google and you go German Shepherd forum and there you go germanshepherds.com so that's a forum there and I'd put that in here German Shepherd no can't put it so I wouldn't use that forum let's find another one German Shepherd home German Shepherds German Shepherd home no can't use that forum either um, anyway, there's so much stuff you can actually go through. MyGermanShepherd.co.uk My German... No. So forums aren't really good. Let's try some magazine. Let's try some clubs. Clubs, there's usually a lot of clubs. So let's go German Shepherd Club. Boom. See? I'd rather that. Now, what you want to do is you want to add like 20 to 30 of these so that slowly slowly your audience grows to the point where there's a lot of them they're in the hundreds of thousands but there's so much more targeted than 1.5 million to 2 million right so what you've basically done is selected the set of people within that German Shepherd demographic that actually have a German Shepherd <clears throat> you're gonna get a way better CTR on these kind of shirts um, than you would if you were to just go to German Shepherd so let's just keep going German Shepherd tips so people that like German Shepherds and have one they're probably going to be going to they're probably they'll definitely be liking tips German Shepherd I spelled that wrong German sure my internet just cut out German Shepherd Uh, so let's go German Shepherd Club. Club list. German Shepherd Dog Club. Events. Club list. Wikipedia. Hmm. No, we don't want that. 
So let's just keep going. German Shepherd uh, Rescue Rescued options German Shepherd Rescue East. So you can select all of them. <clears throat> you can go about definitely selecting all those German Shepherd Rescue. There's a lot of rescue groups, isn't there? So we can go again. German Shepherd Rescue Los Angeles. Look at that. We've gone up to 100,000 to 150,000. German Shepherd Rescue. German Rescue. So usually you'll find like one set. I can assure you there's a lot more clubs out there. We just got to find them. So really spend maybe 15 20 minutes searching through these in Google German Shepherd clubs I'm sure there's oh let's go magazines magazine German meet the German Shepherd dog meet the German Shepherd modern dog magazine GST German Shepherd GSDCA Let's see if that's in there. G S D C. No. But sometimes you will find they're maybe not popular, but there's some niches where there's a lot of websites you can select. There's a lot of magazines, a lot of newspapers, especially if you're doing something international. You would want you'll find a lot of newspapers, um, a lot of association, a lot of clubs. Anyway, so that's the base. This is how you should be targeting um, if you're this kind of system or rules apply if you want save this list you can add another five to ten different keywords here which you can look for but anything got to do with if you can think of something that people that are so passionate about this interest that they're gonna regularly check up on um, are going to be part of then that's what you should be adding as an interest not just German Shepherd so this is something I would actually make an ad for this um, and a shirt and I would actually start marketing to this demographic um, but a really cool thing that came out just recently is a tool that just searches Google for you or Facebook for you and and instead of you going through Google and spending 15 20 sometimes an hour which I used to spend uh, searching for all of these um, it'll search that for you it's a tool called T what's it called T inspector um, Inspector targeting, I think it's called. I'm not sure. I just bought it like two days ago. It's really, really awesome. I'll go through it in the next video for those that want to want to kind of fast track this process. It's ninety-seven dollars or something like that. Um, not sure if it's out for sale. I've got it. I bought it because there was only five hundred in that initial promotional launch. I don't know if when they're going to make it again, but it's definitely an awesome tool for Facebook marketers. Uh, but anyway, hope you guys learned a thing or two. Again, this is the usually the secret source of Facebook marketing. If you can master this, then I can assure you you'll have some pretty awesome Teespring campaigns. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.